Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by or using the new Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm obsessed with the original, so when this one came out, um, you may have expected me to like jump all over it, but I was just not into it. I wasn't, when I first saw pictures of it, it just, the blue really turned me off. I thought that looked kind of random. Um, I know that the original has that purple in it as well, but you know, it has some plummy shades, so it kind of makes sense, but I just thought this was just so weird. It's one of those things that when I saw it in person, I was like, okay, I totally get it, and I really, really like it. So I knew that when I did a tutorial, the first shade or the first look that I wanted to do was to do something with that blue because I think that a lot of people just are like look at this kind of like I did, and they're like, what the heck is that blue doing there? Blue is my least favorite eyeshadow color to even wear on my eyes, so, so I was determined to make it work, and it was surprisingly just very easy to make work. So, um, combined with some of these like warmer shades that are in here, it just is just completely gorgeous, and um, I'm a little stuffy today, so I apologize if I sound even more like ugh, than I normally do. So this is what it looks like quickly. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time, whoa, <laughs> reviewing this or doing anything like that or getting into a lot of details. I think I'm going to, um, after this, I'm going to film like a, a pretty in-depth review on the two of them. Um, like kind of combining the first and the second one if you're cur curious about that. So that will come up very soon. Um, but until then, I hope that y'all enjoy this tutorial. I am very inspired to start doing tutorials again. I, I just go in phases, and I always have. I mean, doing this for seven years, I never get tired of doing the videos. I never get tired of doing, like, talking about beauty stuff or trying new products, but sometimes I just go in phases with tutorials. Like, I just don't want to do them or <laughs> for whatever reasons, but I'm really, like, inspired to do a lot with this palette, and I've got so many ideas, and I was going back and forth today between some different things that I wanted to do. Like, there's just so many things that I can do with this, and so... Um, if you do get this, just know that we'll be using it a lot in the future, so look out for some tutorials coming up in the next few weeks, month, whatever. I'm going to be using that a lot, so the verdict, obviously, is that I really like it, but as I said before, I will do a more in-depth review. But for now, I hope that y'all enjoy the tutorial, and if you want to see exactly how to do it, then keep watching. Alright, so I've already done this eye, so you can kind of see my lashes are still drying, but you can kind of see what it's all about. Um, but first I'm going to use a primer. I'm using my NARS Pro Prime, which is my favorite. And you can put just a little touch under there. While that's still a little, well, it's kind of set, but before it gets too set, we're going to use a blue base. And for this, it's just going to help the color go on a little smoother. After using it, I don't think I would have necessarily needed this. So you can definitely go straight in with the color. But um, this is MAC Hyacinth Eye Pencil, and we're just going to go right to the crease. You don't have to feel like you have to paint it. You see, I mean, you don't have to paint it on like perfect or anything. A little under the eye. And for up here, so it doesn't get too smudgy, I'm just going to use a concealer brush. And that's just going to make it really smooth. Okay, so you've seen the palette already, but I'm going to use this Blueberry Swirl color with an E59 brush. And I'm just patting that all over the blue. You can see it's a little deeper than that pencil, but it's just like the prettiest blue. I love it. So we're not going to get up above the crease because we want to keep the look from going overboard, as you can easily do with blues. So we're just going to pack the color on over the pencil. So we're not going up too high and we're not going in too far to that little pocket. Then taking a smaller brush, this is a little E20 brush, I'm just going to sort of connect that color and go right toward the lower lash line. When I use blues, I like to use like really warm browns and kind of like pair it with that. And the warmest color, the warmest sort of brown in the palette is this peanut butter shade. And I'm going to use that on sort of a medium sized blending brush. You don't really want to use one too big or too small. This is the E35. And just touch it right to the edge of that color. And you're just going to blend right where that blue meets um, the bare brow bone. So I'm just going back and forth and back and forth. And then sort of blending upward. And then right at the end, you want to sort of pull it up a little. 
Just gonna keep the blue from looking bruisey on your eyes. And then take a smaller crease brush and a cooler color. And I sort of went back and forth between this truffled and the puddin'. Is that what it is? Puddin'? <laughs> That's how I say puddin'. And then I just kind of mixed those together and put that right in between, like right on the crease with a smaller brush. And this is an E25. So you're just making a thinner line with this one. You're not like blending it upward so much, like the tan color or the peanut butter color. And then without dipping it again, you can even go back to that other brush that we used before just to sort of make sure everything's smooth. For my highlight, I'm gonna use this coconut cream shade on a big brush and just right up under my brows, right in between that peanut butter color and my eyebrow. Then I'm gonna take a white eye pencil and this is Fascinating by MAC. Just a really soft one, this is my favorite white. Do they even make this anymore? I'm pretty sure they do. I don't know why, I just got that feeling. Um, don't know, but use a white eye pencil and a little clean pencil brush. One that at least has a light color on it because you don't want to smear anything around. Then you smooth that out. I want the inner corner to be really bright and pretty but have a little bit of sparkle to it, so I'm gonna use this pink sugar color, which is really iridescent and beautiful. And put just a little bit right over that, you don't have to go crazy. And then I like to put it sort of under where that blue meets my under eye area. It's just really pretty to layer. Then I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Liner in Perversion and just um, kind of mush it into my lashes right there. Make sure that there's no gaps or anything. And then at the same time, we're sort of coating the waterline and take it inward. You can even take an angled brush to sort of make sure that it gets in between all those lashes to sort of blend it down. You can add a bit of the black in the palette, that licorice color. You can sort of put that right at that line, which works really well. And then we don't need a whole lot of liner up top, but just very, very close to the lashes, I'm gonna put um, just a little bit of this. And you don't have to be careful with it because we're gonna put false lashes on over this. And again, you can smooth that a bit with your angled brush. I'm still working on this baby doll mascara sample, the YSL. I really, really like it. So, I have other mascaras though that I need to use up first. So as soon as those larger sizes are gone, I think I'm gonna order one of these again. We're using false lashes, so don't skimp on your lower lashes because you want those to sort of match. You don't wanna look like you have tons of lashes up here, but then like nothing down there. It makes the false lashes look a little more seamless. I'm using my Ardell Demi lashes. Really, really love those. And I'm really, and I, I use the adhesive obviously on this eye. Uh, this is the new one that I purchased. It's the, um, showed it in a recent Sephora haul, but it's the one that has the brush like that. And um, I really like the formula and it keeps you from putting too much on there, which is like, I think people put way too much glue on their lashes. They don't realize that they're using way too much a lot of the time. Then I'm gonna carefully place those. Whoa. Pull them over just a bit. Get them really close to your real lashes. I like to sort of just make sure that they're, like I said, really close. Just sort of use your fingers to pinch them together. Push them inward. So I'm gonna let those dry and that is it for the eyes. Okay, so when I do dark eyes, a couple things to always remember, for me especially, because I'm pretty pale, is bronzer. And I've been using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. Coincidence. 
So I'm gonna smell really chocolatey, but I really like that bronzer. It's very, very good. And just as always, I kind of start it where I would contour, and then I just sort of like blend it out everywhere else. So it kind of warms up your whole face. But you also get a little bit of the contour action too. And on my forehead, the most should be kind of right there where the arch of your brow sort of goes up to like your temple area. And down your temple. You can put as much or as little as you want. I sort of blend it down my neck just a little. I'm gonna use a little bit of my new um, Baisame, or however you pronounce it, Violet Brightening Powder that I showed in my last video in that haul. I took off that cap that was over it. It started driving me absolutely nuts. So, it's really pretty. I think this is more flattering than like a yellow, for me, for my skin tone, I just like it better than like a yellow or even like a really light whitish color. It's just pretty. It just really brightens everything up. And if you want just a little bit of a sheen to your cheeks, if you don't want to look so flat, I like this Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance. Is that what it's called? I never know what this is called. Ma yeah, that's right. Okay. Matte Radiance <laughs> Powder. And just kind of right there where the bronzer meets that brightening color. Just gives your cheeks a bit of a sheen. I do not like a lot of pink when I use blue um, on my face. So I'm going to use this Peach Dim Infusion Blush by Hourglass. And it just adds some glowy color. It's not super dark. This is like probably the lightest one that they have. It gives your cheeks like a nice pretty glow. For my lips, same thing. I don't want to go too pink or anything. So I'm going to use my Armani number no. 3 lip pencil. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use Dervish. It's not too pink or anything, but it just sort of made it a little bit darker. Then I'm going to use Peach Blossom. Looks like so. That's sort of like a peachy pink, but not too pink to use with the blue. Got fuzz all over it. Can use a little bit of gloss. Most days I've been, I don't really like to layer gloss over lipstick all the time. But I've really been enjoying this by MAC. It's the um, lip gloss in Bait. It's just so perfect. And that is the look. I might try to do something with my hair, although I've been sort of going the easy route lately. I haven't been doing much to it. But I love this look. I love that palette. Um, I'm thinking, hmm, I didn't want to waste a whole lot of time in this video, like reviewing it and comparing it to the other ones. So I will do a video. Uh, coming up soon on sort of like reviewing and comparing the two so I might go ahead and film that so I'll have it ready but anyways I hope that y'all enjoyed the video don't be scared of that blue don't let it turn you off like it totally did me when I first saw this palette it's so pretty in person so I hope that y'all enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you very soon bye